it's definitely important to know that you're not alone in this world. Even though, if, even if you feel like you don't have anyone. I was born with a paralyzed right arm, which, funny enough, well, actually, gratefully enough, never actually um, bothered me. So, like, you know, going through high school, it, it wasn't really a, like a good scene for me. So I was pretty much surrounded by strangers for you know uh, a while because my all that my youth group ever did to me was just uh, use my arm as an excuse to you know poke on me and make me feel like crap. I actually skipped school a lot in year 11 because I just couldn't take the pain anymore and I just wanted to get away from it all and I actually got what I wanted. Um, I wanted a fresh start so I, I pretty much wanted myself to be held back so I can get a fresh start, meet new people you know because I couldn't you know, because I, I, I couldn't, I wasn't able to go to the high school where like all my friends were at. So I thought, you know, if I can't, you know, get away from this madness, I might as well just get myself held back and have a fresh start. And I got that, thankfully. So year 12 and year 13 were actually some of the best high school years of my life. But for me, throughout all my problems growing up, I've always had one really, really close group of friends. I've always considered myself very lucky to actually have such good friends by my side for like all my life. And that's actually what pushed me through all my troubles because when I, when I felt like, I, you know, I didn't have anyone, you know, I knew I always had them and it, it got me through. I'd be nothing without them. Um, so this is like after I graduated. I had myself all set. I had a goal I wanted to achieve. I had, you know, um, everything that I could possibly want, and yeah, I was happy. But then, towards the end of 2015, I gave up that goal. Very, like, like it was very sudden, and I had no idea that that that, that would come, that would come to that. Um, you know, these things do happen. So I spent pretty much all of 2016 like quite badly depressed. Like this is my, my this is my worst year. I'm actually gonna be completely honest with you, as an adult, was not a, a very good year for me. So I started the year at uni, went to AUT to study sport and recreation. So I fell depressed 2016 in January and I applied to the course to see, to, to, to like, because I thought it would help me with my problems. But it turns out it was just making me worse. Like, like, like as things went on, the, the study was just intense and, um, you know, the workload was just insane. So it was just too much for me to handle. You know, I, I spent the rest of that year, like trying to figure out like what I want to do and how do I sort through all my crap. I decided in, August that I wouldn't let, August that year, that I wouldn't let anything get to me anymore. Coming into 2017, I don't know if I have much to say about that because um, I don't remember going through that much, but that was when I th thought I started to get better. Um, you know, I was, I was definitely a lot happier in 2017. But it's when this year struck that things, you know, started to go a little downhill. Uh, still happy though, but um, so January of this year, two things happened to me. I, first I got, a, I got out of a, a friendship that was in, that was in, um, you know, this, this, we were trying to get close and it lasted four years. Like we weren't close or anything, but like we, uh, we were trying to get that far. It just didn't work out. And we were trying it for like four years. But, um, but at the end of the day, it just didn't work out. So we had to say goodbye. And then not long after that, my, um, my granddad died. And, you know, dealing with double the pain was just, it was too much. So I, so I, I, I um, I ran away from home. 
don't let you know hard situations get you down but there's always a way out we just got to look for it you know life's not perfect but we all get there eventually at the end of the day we only have one one opportunity ever to live and that's it just push through your troubles and don't let anything get in your way we all need guns from more than our family like sure parents are, are good but friends are the most important thing in this world it just makes you feel like you're not alone and that's really all you need